G'day and welcome to a special episode of Python Robotics. Today, I just wanted to provide an update to some of the questions I've been receiving around the automatic code completion feature in Lego Spike Prime. For those of you who are unaware, uh, code completion has been featured in some of my previous Python for Lego Robotics videos, uh, and it is a useful tool that can help you make suggestions to your code while you are typing. And there are a few benefits to code completion. Firstly, if you're new to Python, uh, then code completion or code hinting as it's sometimes called, uh, can help you write code more quickly and efficiently because you don't have to type out the entire line of code. If you see the write code pop up in the code completion menu, then all you have to do is hit down in the directional key and press enter. Secondly, it helps uh, alleviate the dreaded undefined errors in Python caused by spelling mistakes. For example, if you have a long object name that's uh, quite long and complicated, then code completion can help you select the object from a drop menu instead of retyping it all over again and risk uh, making a typing uh, error. So let's have a look at some of this code completion in action. So right now we're looking at a very simple bit of Python code for Spike Prime. Here in the object section, I have defined the hub, the left motor, the right motor, and the force sensor. Now, if I wanted to print something, then I can go PRI, but then as soon as I start typing, the uh, automatic code hinting or code completion will pop up. And you can see here, uh, it's very useful because uh, instead of typing out print all up, I can just hit the uh, enter key and then it will just complete my code for me. And this saves me from potentially uh, making typing errors because uh, this uh, limits the, um, the errors that I can make. And also it makes my coding much faster as well. So now I can print my left motor, for example. Okay. Very, very convenient. Uh, and this is the feature that uh, a lot of people are missing. Another situation in which code completion can be helpful is when I'm using uh, a library that I'm not familiar with, like the Lego Robotics library. So uh, I'm going to try now to access my force sensor. So I go force sensor, here you go, force sensor is uh, available. And I go dot, and then I'm not entirely sure how the is pressed function works. So I might just start typing is, uh, and then here, it's got is pressed. So I don't have to type it all out or search for it in the knowledge base. Uh, I can just use code complete and then uh, finish my code. So code completion can make learning and programming Python easier. And in fact, uh, code completion is a very standard feature in Python IDEs. However, in recent months, people have been asking me how to turn on autocomplete like my YouTube videos. And it turns out that since the release of Spike App 2.0, uh, code hinting is no longer working. So I reached out to Lego customer support. Now, if you find any of this information helpful or informative, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. It is your support that lets me continue making coding videos. So I thank you in advance. So here is what Lego had to say. We can confirm this currently is not a supported feature for the Spike app post version 2.0. It is not possible to be re-enabled by users. Prior to Spike app version 2.0, it was available but had a limited set of keywords to autocomplete and sometimes recommended the wrong suggestions. Based on user feedback, our developers have decided to disable this feature until we have a better solution. We don't have an estimate on when it will be back. And you might be wondering, what are the errors that Lego is talking about? So let's take a look. So some eagle-eyed users will probably see that when I uh, started doing the code completion here, so uh, the code completion menu is triggered by control space, um, it brings out some suggestions that are not applicable to the force sensor as well. So is pressed is applicable, but it, left motor, light matrix, all this other stuff, um, they can cause issues if I add them in, uh, it's that this is gonna cause an error because the force sensor has no light matrix. Furthermore, if I um, made a typo earlier, for example, for left motor, I typed in left motors, uh, then in the future, some reason it uh, stores left motors as a potential suggestion. So if I go print 
left motor, uh, it also suggests left motors, which is, of course, an error because there's nothing defined as left motors. So there are some uh, restrictions and also some uh, unexpected errors that can come from auto completion or the version of auto completion that the Spike app had before version 2.0. So it looks like the code completion feature has been completely removed from the Spike app, but to be fair, it wasn't working completely in the first place. I'm still hopeful that LEGO can bring back a revamped version of the Spike app with code completion, but in the meantime, it looks like we'll have to type out all our code manually. To be honest, I'm not missing code completion all that much, uh, and I was more concerned about some coding features that are still not implemented by Python. For example, there is no way to rotate the light matrix, and right now there is no way to broadcast sounds using Python, unlike the scratch word blocks. And to this, LEGO said that those are some elements that our developers were hoping to add in the re-release of Python. What do you think? Is code completion an important feature for you? Are there any other Python features that you'd like to see in the future Spike Prime app? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.